Hello guys, it's the Moldy Donut here, bringing you another commentary. Uh, this one is a little special, I think. In my opinion, it is at least. It's my first recorded nuke. So, I'm going to show you guys how my strategies and things for to get a nuke are. Hopefully they'll help you get your nukes, and let's get started. First, I'll talk about guns. Uh, then second, I'll go over some perks, or the perks I suggest using. Third, and just stuff like that, strategy. I'll, I'm going to get it all. By now, after this video, you'll be set on your nuke. Alright, so for guns, I'm going to suggest using the uh, ACR or the FAMAS. In this game, I'm going to be using the ACR because me and three round burst guns do not get along. Because I'm a spray and pray kind of guy. And with three round bursts, you have to be more precise and accurate with your shots. Because you only get three rounds instead of continuous fire. So it's a more, if you want to be more skilled or whatever, use the FAMAS. But I prefer the ACR. I'm sure a lot of people would agree with me on that. And I use ACR just because uh, you there's no recoil with it. And it's a very, very strong gun. I remember when this first game came out, it was the gun everyone used. People started to hate it. I hated it. And then those people who hated it, including me, used it and figured out that it is, it just does work. It is so good. So use the ACR or the FAMAS. I suggest ACR just because that's my preference. Okay, so now with perks, your blue perk and your green perk will always stay the same. Your uh, red perk, the one in the middle, that one is more of a preference thing, but I'll get into that in a sec. Your uh, blue perk is going to be stopping power, or not stopping power, sorry, uh, scavenger, because that gives you theoretically an unlimited supply of ammo. You will not run out, oh, and it gives you an unlimited supply of equipment too, so you have unlimited claymores and stuns on top of already having an unlimited ammo. You could... Some could argue that you could use uh, what's uh, one man army get the same thing. I, I mean, it would work, but it gyps you out of a secondary, so that's kind of a disadvantage to it. So I would just go with uh, scavenger instead. Your red perk. This is what else I'm about. This one can be between three different ones, maybe a fourth if you're if you like it. It helps with air support, danger close, but I wouldn't suggest using it. But um. Stopping power is the one I'm going to use in this game, just because an ACR with stopping power is unstoppable. Most guns with stopping power are unstoppable. UMP-45, uh, FAMAS, most guns are pretty much do work with stopping power, so. Go ahead and put that on, or another one you can do is Hardline, because that gets you your, your nuke at 24 instead of 25, but it also makes it so you don't have an increased bullet damage so it takes a lot more shooting to kill someone which in a fight where it's you with hardline and another guy with stopping power you're usually gonna lose um, and then another red perk you could use is cold-blooded because that makes it so you can't be seen by air support so that's really it's really helpful I've never really tried to use it while getting a nuke because I like to have that extra power with stopping power but I know some people who like to do that, so that one works too, but it has the same advantage as Hardline, where you, uh, can't, where you're weaker, so I suggest stopping power. And then your third perk, the green perk, my brother calls it yellow, but it's green. He thinks the steady aim is yellow. I mean, it kind of is, but, uh, whatever, I digress. The one you're going to want to use is Ninja, because what Ninja does is it keeps you off of, uh, uh, heartbeat sensors, which I call baby monitors, so you can't be seen by those, and it gets you silent footsteps, which is very good nowadays because with Black Ops coming out, a lot of people are getting turtle beaches, and a lot of people already had them in general, like I have one, uh, my friend Z4 Apocalypse has one, I think Red Bull has one, so lots of people have them. And so if you're chilling in the back somewhere, running around, picking off people, then you're going to be heard by those beaches kids. 
and they will kill you. So, use Ninja Pro and uh, so you can't be seen or heard. Yeah. Ugh, oh, God. Another thing for equipment, I would suggest using yeah. uh, claymores because you can strategically hold down a building very well with claymores. They keep you so. Uh, you, most buildings have two entrances, so if you put a claymore at each entrance, then chances are it, they will kill them, or you'll get a hit marker and you'll know they're coming, so you can get a position and get them when they come around a corner or whatever. And then stuns. Stuns are just because they throw faster compared to flashes. That's It's more of a preference, but I like stuns because you throw them quicker. And for your kill streaks, you're going to want 7, 11, and 25. For your number 7, you're going to want Harrier because they do so much work, it's unbelievable. Like, I think my Harrier gets me a whole lot of kills, so my chopper gunner barely has to do anything. And then, of course, for 11, it's either AC-130 or chopper gunner. I prefer chopper gunner, they're stronger, you get better control, and they stay up for longer, so that they're just all around better than AC-130s. And then, of course, you're going to want the nuke. That's just a straightforward thing if you're going for a nuke. Put nuke on. And some maps that I would suggest playing on to get a nuke. I know people who've gotten nukes on every map, but there's some maps that definitely are better for getting nukes than others. Like, you don't want to try and nuke on Scrapyard compared to, say, Wasteland. Because Wasteland is very open. Scrapyard, on the other hand, is very, very closed on the inside with a lot of the hangers that people can hide in. So, not. And Afghan is the same thing with Wasteland, so it's high rise. It's okay, it's iffy, it's kind of here or there. That's a preference one. I don't really like it, but I know a lot of people could do. Um, so, I always. Rundown's really good too, as you can see it, because I do get my nuke on Rundown because it's relatively open, spawns are all outside except for maybe a spawn spawn inside that building but then you get put with like people who just run out so that's always good. And then some strategies I would suggest doing are just play with, the big one is play with the team. In this game I'm not playing with the team because my friend who I don't normally play with I mentioned earlier, uh, Z4 Apocalypse, he wasn't on. Um, like I played with them earlier today and almost got a nuke, but the game ended. But he wasn't on, so I just kind of jumped in this game by myself, which I normally don't do if I'm trying to go for a nuke. I always play with someone because they they can call in UAVs, counter UAVs, uh, have support classes to take out other air supports, so you won't get killed by them if say you're using hardline or stopping power. That's always a good thing. Another strategy I would suggest is camp 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 you will see that i held down that building by a throughout the entire time i got my new it got me up to my seven because people if you they see that you're camping then they'll generally go for uh what are called revenge kills just to get you out of that spot so if you're good then when they go for you you will be able to get them or your claymores will so that's a good that's camp it's all I can say. I know a lot of people are going to be like, Oh, camper, you suck, go die. Ugh. Shut up. You're just, you just don't, uh, I can't stand people who do that. Yeah, but whatever. Yeah. Game's over, I got Ultimate Sacrifice with this, which I thought was pretty cool. I already had it, but still, whatever. Um, in the future, look out for more uh, Clip of the Days, uh, Your Fail episodes, and then I'm also... Hopefully doing a dual commentary with Red Bull soon. Um, I'd also like to give a shout out to my friend Owen, or Done For Now. He's really cool. He helps me with nuke sometimes. 